You have to come. What's so great about this place? Oh my god, it's incredible. The whole club is like a hospital, and you sit in wheelchairs, and you drink out of IV tubes, and if you want snacks, they bring them to you in bedpans. With everyone getting that flu, it's like in the worst taste ever. Jesus, you are seriously no fun since you hooked up with Max. At least I'm not eating out of bedpans, bitch. Mwah. Damn, these game things are expensive. What's a kid supposed to do with a $400 game box thing anyway? They need something good in their lives, babe. It's been a tough year. I know. Listen, how about you and me, we just give each other cards this year? I mean, do we really need more stuff? Really? I just want a family, honey. Just get your kids to call me mom and I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna be Janet for a long while. You don't think this console will do the trick? <laughs> we'll see. Love you, sweet thing. Hey, honey, how's this been? Wearing thin. Listen, I don't have good news. They've grounded the entire fleet, and it looks like nothing commercial is flying to the USA or Canada. So you're stuck there? Lisa, everyone's stuck everywhere. I don't know how long it'll be before I see you again. But your parents are coming in for Hanukkah this Friday. Are you going to make it home by then at least? I don't know, sweetheart. I promise I'll try. God has a plan for us. Well, sure, but it's five in the morning. It's later than you think, Gary. Don't you see? The signs are all around. What are you... You're saying this is a... God is knocking on your door right now. Are you gonna answer? What? I mean, Luis, is that you out there? Why is your face covered? Are you sick? It's a test, David. Open the door. No! I can't! I mean, don't you want to know if you've been chosen? Yeah, he sneezed into my mouth. What? And you know what's weird? It wasn't even my worst date this week. Okay, now you have to come to Brew Place on Saturday. It's in Brooklyn. You learn to make your own craft beer, we're all going. Craft beer in Brooklyn hipsters? Is this 2012? Now that it is into you, big time. I'm putting you on the list. Out of ham? How can I be out of ham? 
of Christmas. No ham, no turkey, no meat, at least unspoiled. The woman said they'd have a delivery in two weeks. We could do a nut roast, I guess. Well, that doesn't sound very Christmassy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, or at least an oven broiler. What's more Christmassy than that? Hey, what about hot dogs? We have some of those. We could cut them up into chunks, wrap them in biscuit dough from a tube, and call them pigs in a blanket. Hot dog chunks for Christmas dinner? Just like Santa intended. Come on, we can sell this. You know the kids will love it. Okay. Hot dog chunks it is. I'm dreaming of a chunky Christmas. Hey, sweetie, you're calling early. Hey, uh, oh, okay, listen, uh, something seriously messed up here. I think we have to leave town right now. What? What are you talking about? Do you, can you pack your bag, uh, the little green one, just, just whatever basics you need, not too heavy. I'll, I'll pick you up in a minute. We need to move fast. Babe, what's going on? I'm not, look, we can't wait or we'll be stuck. They're locking the island down in an hour. Okay, okay, I'll pack the bag.
911, what's your emergency? Hey, hello. I'm down on East 21st, corner of uh, uh, 3rd Avenue. My friend, she's been sick of flu or something. She passed out on the sidewalk and she's not waking up. Is she breathing? Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. Her, her forehead's really hot. She she's all pale and sweaty. Okay. Make sure she's lying down on her side. Okay, okay. Yeah, she is. Can you, can you send an ambulance or something? As soon as we can. We've been getting an unusually high number of calls the last couple of days. But we'll be there soon. Just stay with your friend and we'll be there ASAP. I walk away now. He dies. That's not what we're about. We have a responsibility. You've been ventilating him for three hours. How much longer do you think you can hold that thing up? Look, even if they get the power turned back on, the facility's a mess. It's been days since our last resupply. Nobody's coming to save this one shitty little clinic. It's over. You have to let him go. <laughs> What's happening to us? Honey, listen to me. I don't care what the Andersons told you. Hey, watch it, asshole! No, not you. Just get the kids packed, and don't forget Melissa's medicine. We're getting out of the city. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm gonna have to ask you to move. Hey, we're just trying to dry off. Give us a break. Okay, I'm sorry, but you'll have to take your things and vacate the area. This is private property and you're obstructing traffic. There ain't no traffic here, man. Come on. They're not monsters, Mr. Velassi. I'm going to try and persuade them again. Judy, this is a story whether you persuade them or not. Listen, listen. You don't have to go on the air with this, but if you can at least get me some kind of proof. I need to go. I'll call you back. God, it's getting crazy out there. You know, I thought of taking the day off and calling in sick. My throat's a bit sore. With the compensation reviews coming up. Hey, Judy. Judy? Hang on. Mr. Velassi, I meant it. I'm not talking until I give them another chance to do the right thing. And I hope you convince them. But if you don't, I'll be waiting outside to get you out. I'm live on the air at 7. Judy, they want you in the boardroom.
active echo beacon detected. Judy, where are you going? You know, some more manpower and resources, we'd have that cure. Guess I thought that maybe, just maybe, we'd put humanity first. Security. Matthew, Miss Walters is coming down. Could you detain her, please? Judy? Okay. Look, in a few months we might have a cure, but what we could do right now is to treat symptoms. It's better for everyone. No. Let me be blunt. We are not a charity. I hear they're close to a cure anyway. So you're willing to let people die because it's not in your job description? Oh, fuck you, Alan. I have kids, but I'm thinking about their future after this thing blows over. The point stands, we don't have a cure and we've got to look after our shareholders. The profit we accrue can go towards researching a cure. That's exactly my point. Miss Walters, I need you to wait. Let go of me! What the hell's going on over there? Readings indicate an echo nearby. No, I'm not kidding. She... It literally just happened right in front of me. Jesus, Rick. Without her, this whole story's a bust. Maybe we run with the Directive 51 thing. You got anything on that? No, but hang on. This story isn't over yet. I bought the farm. Say what? Okay, I bought a farm. 40 acres out in Virginia. You're kidding. Right up in the Blue Ridge. It's mostly cleared with a, a little bit of woods out back and, and there's a farmhouse. I'm gonna raise chickens. You're a city boy. You won't last a week out there. I may not last a week here. Goddamn bug has sent four people in my building to the hospital. One of them died. I'm getting out while I can and you should too.
Third Precinct, Detective Mercer speaking. I hear you're looking for me, Detective. Start the trace. Why are you calling me? Because I like to watch you run in circles. <laughs> We're gonna catch you, pal. You'd better believe it. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. You trace that? Yeah. Phone's registered to some 15-year-old kid in Hackensack. Just another wannabe trying to get famous on someone else's kills. He gets old, man. Sounds like we have an old time on the line. Joseph Farrell. Hey, Joe, what's your take on the Dallas flu? I think this really shows how vulnerable this country is. I mean, how stupid you have to be not to go to the hospital when you're sick as a dog. We got people going to work, to the supermarket, even to the goddamn movies, infecting thousands of other people out of pure ignorance. I'm telling you, this is going to blow up big time. Just because most people are too damn stupid to realize what's going on. There's no one with the balls, not the government, not nobody, and the brains to do what's got to be done to keep this from spreading. Sorry to cut you off there, Joe. Thanks as always for your thoughts. No, I'm not kidding. I'm sick to death of smelling other people's garbage and like, I can't even stand on the subway anymore without some urban dance troupe gyrating in my face and cabs. God, I might as well be driving a car myself. Oh, please, you know you love it here. Honey, you are here and I love you. That's different. 